hey guys welcome back to my channel so that's the current situation in my kitchen right now and like i told you on my previous video i have to change that curtain so i have to choose between these two and i have decided to go with this one on top because i've used this one before and i want to show you how messy my kitchen is right now i just um okay every morning i do porridge and um we ate so you can see how messy this is don't worry we are here to create content we are here to motivate each other we are here to clean so i know i'm not the only one who's experiencing this thing right now at the moment especially in the kitchen in the morning so here's the laundry today is friday i have to wash that laundry i always say the dishes and the laundry are always there whether you like it or not they are always there and now that it's winter the laundry is just I mean like i don't understand when it's cold the laundry just becomes so so much well um i guess we are used to it by now and i just thank god that i'm using the machine because well if i had to use my hands i was really going to struggle washing winter laundry it's not easy that's one thing that i know you know i don't mind washing um the clothes with my hands that's what i was doing in cameroon and since it was hot there, the clothes that we were wearing were just looking light clothes, you know. So when you use your hands, it's not that difficult. So imagine here, it's laundry, it, not it's laundry, it's winter. You have to wash the jackets, you have to, like, there's just too much. And there's just too much. So, yeah, coming to the dishes, you guys, you know that when I wash my dishes, I always use sunlight liquid and bleach. If I don't have bleach, I just use jig. Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this And I always ask myself, why is it every time when Okay, I don't know about other people, but when I'm washing the dishes That's the moment I think too much Like just if I can wash the dishes for 10 minutes Maybe I could have thought about A hundred thoughts, I'm telling you I can't think about one thing and then I just think and then another thing I, I think about another thing like if I had to if I had like um, a calculator in my brain where I will just calculate how many thoughts are in my in my head when I'm washing the dishes <laughs> you guys it's so funny but it's all I, I believe when we are busy when we are more focused that's when we start to think too much so yeah when i'm washing my dishes that's when i think too much i even think about the past like when i was small like i don't know honestly if it's okay it's normal i know but i just want to know if you also do the same thing like when you are busy when you are focused do you also especially when you are doing your house chores do you also think too much because man i don't think um i know it's normal but i don't think i'm the only one and then yes um i'll be washing my microwave as well guys like i want to change this microwave this microwave is working 100 percent and when i'm defrosting defro defrosting the food it does exactly the way i want like it's for me it's working 100 percent but i'm just tired because i don't know um you guys you can if you can check very um properly there the other leg just under those buttons there were some i don't know how to call them i just call them small legs for the microwave when i moved it it went um it went out and then i don't know like i don't know where it is so this microwave is not level if you check very properly it's not level and then this door this door keeps on like open closing if i open like this i have to put something there so that it can just open wide so you guys can see inside and i'm really really thankful for this microwave when i started today francis was still uh he was still using this microwave and yeah it's like it's big it's big i like it so moving on to my fridge guys um going to remove everything there the first items that i removed there it was the the cabbage what i do is that when i buy vegetables i buy the big ones like cabbage i just buy one huge cabbage and then i chop it and then i put it in the plastics i think i had like five plastics of cabbage and then i used it two already and in one plastic i can cook 
um, twice I can yeah I can cook twice and same thing applies to the um, pumpkin I also have pumpkins I did the same thing but I haven't used this pumpkins yet and then my what else do I also do oh I also do that too um, when I cook up when I cook up while it's still hot I just uh, mold it and I put it in the plastic after that I put it in the fridge whenever you want to eat you just warm it so this fridge ever since okay ever since i got back ever since it's here in this house i've never like cleaned it so this is the first time and i felt like it was not that dirty the only things that were dirty here is those two trays down there because the other one i was putting the vegetables the other one the fruits but normally what i do before putting the foods in the fridge i wash them and same applies to the vegetables but now when i was cleaning i remember the sweet potato that was here actually we bought like five of them and they were huge they were really huge so i cooked um four of them and then i was left with one and i noticed that it had sand so i really had to um clean this fridge and as well i want you guys to advise me on this one there are other people who don't put onions inside their fridge they don't put onions in their inside their fridge and i used to put them you know like it was normal until my sister was like you don't do that you don't put onions inside the fridge and i was like okay and then i stopped so i just put the onions on my vegetable rack and uh, I'll, you'll also see it later on i've been having this rack since last year i never showed you guys yeah i do also put my my vegetables there because the previous fridge was not working properly so i had to store my fruits and vegetables on that rack so um i want to know where do you keep your your onions and which vegetables do you also keep outside the fridge so just comment down below let me know so we can interact and learn from each other i guess um you guys you are enjoying this video if you have watched this video this far thank you so much and kindly give this video a thumbs up comment down below and share me out if you can You guys, you know, I don't throw away my bottles, I don't throw away my ice cream containers, I don't throw away my yogurt containers, so, um, and my Nutella containers, I really, really love those Nutella containers. So you guys, you can see on the first one, I put my margarine on those um, shelf where I put my garlic um, mayonnaise and tomato paste. What I did, I just um, cut my margarine just to make space. And then I put it inside there and then and on my margarine I use stock. This margarine is the margarine that I use to fry some food. If you guys still enjoy this content, kindly, 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 please, please, please give this video a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed because subscribing is free. So um what else I wanted to say for yeah, subscribing is free and um yeah, just make sure guys in few minutes I just want to like clean this mess again. Continue. So there I was trying to remove the TV stand and I managed to do that and the reason why I'm doing that is because my neighbor was like she's interested in buying the TV stand because I'm selling it. You know, but I, I'm selling it cheap. <laughs> I'm selling it cheap. So I'm just like happy that I I, I got to remove it there. It has been there for for like almost three months because even when i came back from cameroon it was there so um i was happy that i managed to do it because things like this are always depend on francis i'm telling you 
heavy duty finishes i always like fancy space out but this was really not that heavy and then after that i cleaned it and then i had to put it in the living room and there was again removing the curtain and this the curtain that i'm going to put is actually i thought it was like um what, what's this i thought it was not divided into two so i just wonder that it was separated but i'm gonna put it like that and then today or maybe tomorrow whenever i have time i'm just going to take my needle and then i'm going to sew it up so i can combine it all together and remember guys i think it was last year or earlier this year when i was talking about um buying the lace for the kitchen and someone as you guys can see the rail that for the kitchen you can see it's single it's not double like the others especially my like the one in my bedroom and my living room so uh i remember someone was like you can buy a lace and then you just combine it with the actual curtain and it it did make sense but i haven't done it i haven't done it yet like i don't know if i'm forgetting it or what and then you guys you know i always use mr sheen clear view to wash my my windows i use it as well to wash my stove so yeah um this curtain I, i'm not sure how long i'm gonna keep it here because i noticed something the brightness that is getting the kitchen is the way i like but i don't want to be comfortable and keep it like uh, for like two months so i'm thinking i should just keep it for three weeks or four and then remove it put another one so like right now i have like four no three kitchen curtains so i'm like i'm happy i can just play around with them So, um, remember my 
this video um, I showed you guys the hake fish that was on the kitchen counter and I told you that um, I was going to cook it that day but I was not going to show you because of the space so um, this is actually the the video where I'll be showing you how I cook my fish and chips um, it's very simple it's just um, what do you call this potatoes yeah just cut the potatoes to make uh, french fries and then the fish so this is hake fish and the way we cook it it might be different from the way other people from different countries cook it so um you know guys on my previous videos i'll be sh i was showing you how i was cooking that hake fish sometimes i don't remove the fish bone but in today's video i'll be removing the fish bone and then from there just going to put it um coat it in flour and then the eggs and then i fry it then i'm good to go and this way it's more more nice for me and it's safe for a girl to eat since there won't be any bones there so yeah i'm always careful when it is eating fish right? even back in Cameroon, the fish is so so nice i really love Cameroon fish like the way they do it is just out of this world and the fish that they normally use is um is it kalapau or is it um uh, karapau they call it karapau or how i don't know how to pronounce that and uh makarel as well and then they make the the paste out of celery parsley bay leaves garlic ginger white pepper and black pepper they blend them all together they marinate the fish and then they start to grill it like so so delicious just by saying this i just even feel like eating it now so yes i'll be showing you guys and i think i've been talking too much i'm just going to stop talking i'm going to stop this voice over here and just continue to watch until the end and if you really love and you enjoy this content i have some of my subscribers who always come on my whatsapp and tell me oh your video was not kindly subscribe kindly not subscribe what am i even saying kindly comment <laughs> really sorry about that kindly comment whatever that you are telling me on whatsapp here on youtube please guys please so if you really have enjoyed you enjoyed this video kindly give it a thumbs up share me out and thank you so much for my for my gang who always share me out you guys you rock my world and i'm very aware of you i know the people who always comment who always share me out who always um join my premiere who always like just there to support me thank you so so much like my channel is growing I remember my previous video it was that oh because it was a collaboration and people from Borish's channel they really um subscribe to my channel is they did subscribe and thank you so much for that and welcome to my family i mean on this channel we do everything homemaking so if you really love homemaking videos cleaning motivation cooking mommy duties you are in the good channel you are in the right channel what am i even saying i'm tired of talking so you guys i hope you are enjoying this content and i'll see you guys on my next one just continue to watch
close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And I know we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And I Turn us to thousands 